All right, what's going on, people? This is your boy Theo. This is a real talk. So, um, the Black Lives Matter protests continue. Um, this morning I got up and I saw um, a guy, a white guy, who had um, a bow and arrow and he was pointing it to, to the people. And um, he's screaming out, all lives matter. And then, you know... And then, you know, he gets beaten up and everything. And then he goes on he goes on TV and says the complete opposite. Who does that? It's just mad. And then I saw um a police police truck uh, police uh, cars mowing down people. I've seen a car even running, uh, like mowing down somebody and then running them over. I've seen that happen. And that's going on across the United States. I saw a poignant piece today, I saw a poignant video today, and I saw um, a 16 year old, a 31 year old, someone that's actually around about my age. And there was also a 50 odd year old guy. And they were all talking about the same thing. They were all hurting. They were all angry. And I could feel it and feel it. I could feel their pain. I can feel their frustration. And I can feel their anger. I can feel it. And it went viral. In fact, all of those videos I just mentioned went viral. So the Black Lives Matter protests went down in Peckham. I know Peckham very, very well. I went to school in Peckham. I have family in Peckham. Um, and, you know, I saw the protests that went down there as well. And best believe that there will be um, protests that's going down here in this country. Um, it's going to happen right here in Birmingham. Um, and it's going to happen in Manchester. And I think there's one that's going to be planned in um, Glasgow, I believe. Um, but I do know that there will be planned protests because this cannot go on. Another black person has died. You don't understand how this makes me feel. You don't understand. Being black Okay, being black, right, is a beautiful thing, you know. Being black, it represents a culture, so many cultures. Whether you're from Jamaica, where you're from um, Ghana, where you're from Mozambique, where you're from... From 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 Zimbabwe, like we represent so many, and we're so we're so blessed to have people that represent us. And I wanted to be the next one. That's what I wanted to do. And those that know me know what I do, and I love what I do. All right, I I want to be able to represent my family where I come from. In the best possible way. That's just real. And I will do. What I can for the rest of my life. To uphold that. I don't want to become. A, like listen. I want to become a dad someday. I really do. I want to become a dad. And I want to be able to sit down. And explain to my ch a child. Or children. That I want to. Want them to understand where they come from, how we managed to do it. See what happened? Like they, they like I want them to understand. I would even bring them to Jamaica to uh, myself, so that they can understand. All right. If you don't know that much about me, go to go and watch my Jamaica videos. Like they can so that you can understand where it is I've come from. Look, 
Black Lives Matter from the past. Today, tomorrow, it matters. You know, I do not want to be able to raise my children just knowing that black people are dying around them. And they keep an, uh, and they're going to come to keep an eye to ask questions. And yes, I will answer them. But even even then, I will feel in such a way to in such a way to even answer them. It's this has been going on for a long, long time. I'm tired of us black people being stereotyped. I'm I'm tired of of us being put on the sidelines. I'm tired of us not if we're not getting us the recognition that we deserve. I'm tired of all of that. And I'm angry at the way that we've been treated. Not just not just been the last few days, but since uh, since for 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 years and years and years and years and years. I'm tired of the way that we've been treated, the way that we've been spoken speaking to. We are we are people, but we're black people. Recognize. All right? Black lives matter. They do matter. And in the end, right, the people that has the power to change things won't change. It won't change. And we have to make them change. Look, Donald Trump, right, has literally said that he's just looking to court. Well, he has called the National Guard. There's been bullets been sprayed. Sorry, um, rubber bullets been uh, been dished out. Tear gas has been dished out. And he's the one that could actually change everything, but he won't. And I don't know what my prime minister has said about this situation, right? Because it happens over here as well. And if he, and if he was to. Listen, watch my video. Please understand that this this thing has gone on long enough. You think that what what's going on in America's tough? Try what's going on or going on over here. I've experienced racism too, and it hurts, and it gets me mad. But I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. And whatever happens going forward, whether I become famous or whatever, I'm still going to be the same person. That's just coming from me. Black lives matter. And, and I just only can hope that one day someone's going to come up, uh, someone's going to come up and say, look, this has got to stop. What I saw the other day, it was horrifying. A man shouldn't have to lose his life like that. Neither all the people that's come before him shouldn't have lost their lives like that. People just do not get it, how it makes us feel. You don't get it at all. But until we have this conversation, I've got no, nothing more to say. So, like this video, subscribe, comment below. Black Lives Matter. Just think about that.